everybody, it's Bree and Raiko here to do BG Addicts written prompt number 21, and it's all about different skin tones. Um, basically, do you own dolls with different skin tones, so white or tan or purple, I don't know what all. <laughs> it's probably a lot. And the answer is, for me, sort of? I have three white skins and two normal skins, and the reason Raiko's here is because he was my first, I think he's technically called Yellow? but I'm kind of conflating pink and normal, pink and yellow with normal because they're just darker than white. Richard is a pink skin and this guy, as I said, is yellow. And I have, I think Andy is technically normal or white or she's just really pale, that's the point. But um, I guess I, I want a tan doll and originally a Raleigh's brother was supposed to be tan, but the doll I fell in love with and just, oh my god, it looks so perfect. Like, I haven't been able to find one who's more perfect, doesn't come in tan, so I'll have to push my tan doll dreams to later. <laughs> I will have one. I will have one someday. It'll probably be the resin soul little dragon boy whose name escapes me right now. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but, um, I guess, like, when it comes to skin tone, it all kind of depends on, you know, the character and what you want. And I've heard some people say that, like, collections that have all pale dolls or all one color dolls are boring and I don't necessarily think that's true because it's a, a collection of dolls is very individual and what a single collector finds aesthetically pleasing is going to be most likely what they put in their collection. So if someone wants a collection of all really dark skinned dolls that's up to them. If someone wants a collection of all pale dolls, or someone wants a collection of a mishmash of every skin tone known to man, then that's that's just what their decision is and what they like, and I don't think that people should be, you know, expected to get have one, you know, of this particular skin tone of doll just to be inclusive, because I think at that point it's not actually inclusivity, it's just peer pressure masquerading as something something else. And now I'm getting really philosophical and gone off on a tangent, so I'm going to stop that. But yeah, I was actually a little worried when I was getting Raiko because he was going to be my first non-really pale doll. And I was a little bit worried that, okay, what if I don't like him? I've never seen the doll's own yellow skin before. I've never had anything that wasn't, you know, as I said, really, really pale. I actually really liked him. His skin tone turned out to be perfect for what I needed, and then I was so, so excited. And then when I got Richard, I didn't. The yellow skin that Dragon Doll Telethesia had was very close to the doll zone, and I didn't want another white skin doll, I didn't want another yellow skin. So getting the pink and just seeing the subtle gradation, especially when Richard and Raiko sit next to each other, you can really tell that their tones are slightly different, and I think that's something cool. Like even my two white skin dolls are slightly different shades of each other. They're both really pale, but they're just slightly off, and I think that actually reflects human tone, because people tend to be like, oh, all dark skin looks like this, and all white skin looks like this, and all this skin looks like this. And that's really not true. There are subtle variations between people that make every single person unique, and you can see that with batches of resin themselves. Every batch is a little bit different, and I don't know, it makes them feel more human to me, I guess, that they have these little variations that make them, that are part of who they are and part of their character. So, once again, I've gone off on a tangent about skin tone. I guess because I have this kind of tied to it because I'm, I'm mixed. I'm a, my father is African American, my mother's uh, Caucasian, so I've had this kind of thing most of my life of, you know, be, being two different, being from two different races. I have, I've, it's been an interesting little life. Nothing really bad, just some things are a little weird. But um, I'm going to stop going off on six different tangents and stick to dolls. So yeah, that's skin tone. I, I love, like, really, really love, like, one of the really funky colors, like a green or a purple someday. Just, I don't have a reason for it. I'd probably want, like, a little one, just so I could dress up and look super cute and maybe, like, a woodland creature or an alien. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's really what I have to say about skin tone. If you guys have anything else, anything you'd like to say, write down below, please, and I will see you all next week. Bye!